A Wisconsin state senator is drawing new outrage from Americans over her shocking remarks on the state's Senate floor. Just listen to this Democrat's fiery response about the spread of crime from big cities to quiet suburbs. It would be nice sometimes when some of these policies are made, if some of the people that were being directly impacted were being brought to the table. Because to say that these additional police are needed because crime is spilling out into the suburbs, what about these babies who are being lost right in their own cities? The suburbs. Because they don't know a thing about how life is in the city. Kaylee, there are multiple issues with that. Yeah, um, first, the crassness. Um, second, this is a basket of deplorables moment. We're just going to cast away part of society. We're constituents, we're Americans, those of us who live in the suburbs. Uh, but also, it's just politically dumb. Um, suburban women are a powerhouse voting block. You could make the argument, as Brookings Institute does, I don't know if I entirely agree with them, but it's a good point, uh, Biden's victory came from the suburbs. Okay, so this suburban women cohort that we on the right will try to court, you're just going to toss them aside, F the suburbs, go with that. See how it works out. Ian, she's underscoring the point that those in the suburbs are articulating, which is that crime is unacceptable and every life is equal. And she's doing it in a manner that undermines the decorum and the sanctity of our elected government, unfortunately undermining any type of credibility she has by doing so. That's, that's exactly right. I mean, crime is crime wherever it is. And policies need to be enacted that, that protects people from crime. But unfortunately, what you're seeing in the subtext of what she's saying is a lot of the policies that are being enacted by these so-called progressive prosecutors, right, going soft on, on dangerous felons or dangerous criminals for restorative purposes. Well, where does that spill over to? It spills over into the suburbs because ultimately it's a soft target, right? Criminals aren't going to go find some, you know, wealthy estate protected by dozens of security cameras to go rob TVs or do whatever. They're going to go to the suburbs where there are less police uh, officers, where there's less law enforcement than there may be in the city or there may be in private residences that are protected. So this is dangerous. It is a dangerous statement. It is a dangerous sentiment. And crime is spilling into the suburbs because of the policies that these, these kind of lawmakers support, which is let's go easy on everybody for restorative purposes. And to draw out Kaylee's point a little further, Julie, you know, the, the lack of the intellectual caliber there, because the suburbs could say the same thing to the cities. And given that mo many of those urban cities experiencing rot, they're not the capital. And the whole point is that in suburbia is where the tax base is higher. And it's from the capital that those fl the funds flow to protect the city. So go ahead, start this bidding war, because believe me, if the suburbans yeah take their tax dollars elsewhere, then all that's gonna suffer is yet again, the urbanites. First of all, not only is this counterproductive to the values of the senator's constituents, this is also completely ignorant. Why? During the pandemic, how many people actually moved out of cities, just like myself, into the suburbs? I never thought it'd be it, but I am a suburban mom, and there are many suburban moms out there that did move out of the city, and we do know what the city's all about. That's the whole reason why we moved out. So we know very well the crime situation in our cities, and don't you dare intelli don't you dare insult the intelligence of suburban moms or suburban dads suburban ites period i mean it's an insult to the american people and to of all citizens whether you live in the city or the suburbs doctor why is it okay to use blasphemy and uh, that kind of language on the Senate floor. Why, why is all of a sudden people, why are people in hoodies? Why is there an evolution of decorum too? All it does is undermine the credibility. Absolutely, we've lost our class and our integrity and Senator Potty Mouth here, I think she needs to understand that the reason why the crime is spreading to the suburbs is because these criminals are not being held accountable. They are, they're not afraid. They'll do whatever they want because they know that they'll get out within 24 hours on totally. no bail. And there's, that's why there's a high rate of recidivism. So until we see new leadership once again and have uh, leaders and lawmakers that care about the well-being of our citizens in the community, this is just going to continue. But her behavior is completely unprofessional and uncalled for. Yeah, that's right. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.